Hi everyone, I'm just coming on to do a quick tutorial um, making this card. I have made a few of these over the last few days. Um, this one's actually on order. Um, and it's a non-traditional Christmas card. The vellum on the background is a Christmas design. It's like um, swirls with holly leaves on it. And I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I had two 12 by 12s of it, that's it, um, and I have hoarded it for ages because I didn't know how to use it and do it justice, and I made this card the other day and I thought, I love it. It's just so understated, but so pretty, and it is Christmassy even though it's non-traditional. So I'm going to show you how to do this today. I have pre-cut the vellum but I'll show you how I've done it and what dye I've used. So I've set up my big shot and I've got my dyes here. Now these are framelit dyes. I can't remember the name of them but I will leave it in the description bar um, because I'll need to check my order for what one they wear. Um, I know it's a bit useless but oops. So what you do is just put your larger frame down first and then your middle one down next so you're going to have a nice frame around it and just try and even it up as best you can and um, just be careful with these ones because I'll move that over a bit so you can see it's on a magnetic platform anyway with these ones, there is a right way and a wrong way because I'm not 100% square. They do look square and I made the mistake yesterday of making one with the middle one round the wrong way and the space in between it was too thin at one side. So, a um, bit of cardstock. Where are we? Keep that bit. There we go. Whoops. So this is what is it? No. This is um the cardstock that I use and I do get it from Crafters Companion. You get sixty sheets for ten pounds or nine ninety nine or something along those lines. So I just stock up on that when I'm needing it. And it's brilliant for printing on. It's great for um, watercolouring. Honestly I don't think I've found it bad on anything as yet. So I'm just putting this on to my big shot <coughs> and then I'll just run it through. Now I run it through twice, I put it through once then I bring it back and it's just to make sure that everything's cut perfectly. Now my big framelit die is a bit tattered so I'm having issues with that at the minute. Um, I'm actually contemplating contacting Sussex because it's not been abused. I don't abuse my dyes. Um, so we can get rid of that. The only part we're needing is this part here. Everything else is uh, extra. So I'll just put that up there actually just now and I can deal with that off camera. Don't waste your stuff. I mean, I keep everything because you'll use it in another project. But for this alone, it's just the outside frame you need. And I'm finished with my big shot for now. Max, move, darling. Come on. Thank you. He's lying just at my feet. Right, so first up, we're going to adhere this onto the back. And as you'll see there, the right way and the wrong way um, when you go to fit that up that's just slightly over otherwise if you turn it it fits perfectly oops that's only because my hand was there but it does fit perfectly so I'm going to just use some PVA for that um, is this my watery one? 
No. Right, so I'm just going round the outside of it. with my paintbrush so just a wee bit of uh, PVA and I just use an Eta's Tacky glue um, it's the best glue for this type of thing and I'm just being not too um, over enthusiastic with my glue because I don't want it to show seeping out Although it's clear when it dries, it would still be a bit unsightly, so I just try and be as careful as I can with it. As I said, you don't need to have hundreds anyway to hold vellum. It is quite good for sticking down the PVA. And honestly, although that, that card looks really complicated, it's so super simple. Right, so um, go that way and just check this is the right way. It is. And I'm just going to turn it over so I can position it properly. I'll just get my, my blade so I'm only inching it a wee bit at a time. So I'm just going round to make sure that it's stuck down. There's a wee bit of sliding going on there. There we go, that's absolutely perfect. Okay. And on the back you can see there is very little showing through, if anything actually, I don't even think there is any showing through. But you just go around the edges with your thumb and your finger and just press it down to make sure it's all stuck properly. Once you're happy with that, I'm going to pull out my butterfly. Oh, I never actually cut that other die. I'll pull that back out in a minute. Right. In fact, I've got other swirls there. I'll see if one of them will work with it first. Right, so that's my centre part. Now, I think I'll just add bling to it. So I'm going to cut four bling diamante. And these are just self-adhesive ones. And I buy these from Scrimpy's Craft Boutique. I um, can't remember the price, I think it's a pound or one fifty. Um but it's competitive rates because if you're buying all the rest of your stuff from there and she does stock the Anita's Tacky Glue as well, um, you're not paying different delivery charges. So that's the centre part on. Then I'm just going to add my six, so I'm just slicing through. So when I go to lift them, they are all separated. So that's four, five, and six. So first one, and I'm just adding these two, the wee swirls inside the wings. I'll turn that light off actually, because that's not making it anything any easier. But I'm just adding it to the, the wing. So it's getting added to these three sections on either side. Bring you down a bit so you can see that. As I said, a few folk have requested the video for this. Um, I will leave the links to not the links, I will leave in the description bar the names of the dies because um, I can't remember off the top of my head unfortunately I don't label all my dies which I'm going to have to because 
I hate doing a video and not being able to tell you exactly what everything is. Right, so that's the six diamonds added to the wings and it just adds that tiny wee bit of sparkle and elegance to it. So again, I'm just using my neatest tacky glue and I'm just using my finger because I don't need much and just using it on the spine on the back of the body of the butterfly. And then all you're doing is just placing it at an angle, sorry my fingers on the way, placing it at an angle in the top left hand corner and just press it down at the centre. Once it's dried, because I haven't adhered my wings, once it's dried you can pull about and position your wings exactly where you want them. Right, let me see if any of my swirls will work with this. Right, I need to move them first. Because I'm not wasting them. Whoops, a daisy. Right, that's one of my swirls. And where's the other one? That's it there. I just want to see if any of these work with it. No, that one's not high enough. And that one is just the wrong shape. Nope. I'm going to need to pull the die cutter out again. But it'll only take me a second, so... Move that out the road. And pull up my die cutter. Got my die here. Piece of white card. Not get enough on that one. And these are just scraps that I keep. In fact, I'll just show you. I've got my wee scrap pile there. And this wee box is all just scraps of paper and some die cuts that I've already pre cut so that I've got everything on hand when I'm using it. Right, so same as before, die down and I'm going to add just a wee bit of greaseproof paper to this because it was playing up with me earlier on. Where is my greaseproof went to? I had a bit cut as well. That's it. Yeah. There we go. So I'm just going to tear a bit off. As I said, this one was giving me bother earlier on, so I'm just giving it a quick, and I do it, just give it a quick rub with the grease proof or wax paper before you put it down, and then just place it over your die. As I said, I'm not too worried with um, where it cuts, etc. And then just run it through. And we'll go back with it. And it's cut fine. So we'll put that there, lift that, put that back on. And oh, this is a die cutter. Right, pop this out. And it should pop out really easy now. Yep. There we go, and I'll clean that and just, that, there you go, that's that cleaned out. Tiny wee bit in the centre there that I'll just slick out. Perfect. Put that in the bin in a minute. Need to pull the grease proof off this, or wax paper, and then pull the card back over. And that's for there. So another wee bit of Anita's tacky glue and again just being really liberal with it because you don't need a lot. I'm putting some on the wing, eh, the leaf there, just a tiny wee smidgen in the bottom, again in the centre there, another tiny wee spot 
at these wee points there and just kind of brush it up gently with your finger one two wee dabs there one on that leaf and one on that leaf and you'll see there's not even a bit shown which is grand rub the rest off my finger I'll put the lid on that perfectly in a minute right so we're just placing that and I like to just catch this leaf on the side just a wee bit and then just pull it up and you'll see it just fits perfectly it just fits to the tip there okay then we've got what are you sentiment now I buy these in packs I believe I got this from oh what's the name of it I can't remember um, is it B&G Crafts I can't remember but you get them and I think it's packs of 50 or 100 and it's just different sentiments um, season greetings, happy Christmas, merry Christmas um, tis the season and they're various shapes, some arch up, some are kind of curved and they're just, they're, they're really handy if you're doing a lot of cards it saves you having to stop and start so I'm just going to stick these down just three small dimensionals maybe, no, I've got two there that'll be enough just take the backs off them and I'll turn this to you so you can see it and then we're just placing this on now I'm going to put this at a slight angle so that it kind of fills that bottom space so I'm wanting to pull that side down just a wee bit more there we go I'm happy with that Pardon me, I'm a bit sniffly. So, to adhere it to our card, um, I've got a spare card here. Um, where did I put my glue? My I keep blooming dropping everything. Do, do, do. Did I put them up there? I did. Right, so these are rectangular ones. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but in fact, I'll pull one off and let you see the size of it and I'll show you what I do. So that's the size of it, but they're a bit large for this type of project because you don't need it to be really, really well stuck down. For the amount I'm going to use on it, um, you're only needing a wee bit. So I'm just, what I do is just cut through a strand. So I've then got double out of that one triangle type of thing, okay, uh, out of that rectangle. Then all we're doing is just, I place them on the middle and all the corners because obviously the base is vellum, I want it standing up a bit because if there's a wee bit of light gets through the back of that card it's going to look absolutely amazing it just it will sparkle and shine like you wouldn't believe so if it's sitting and it catches the sun through the back of it it'll just look magical um, so that's why I'm doing it this way and making sure there's a bit of height in it right so they're all down now to get my backs off the easiest way I've known possible is just with my poke tool poke it in and pick it off put it in the back of your hand and it saves you getting all the wee dots everywhere maybe not because that one's took a shine to me right um, so we're here just pick it off it on I'll just leave them on the back of that now but 
just and it saves you having to fight with the back of them but if I'm honest these are really simple to come off this um, design ones make sure I don't have any on it I don't right so move that out the road there's my card and I'll turn it to you again so you can see it oops me bit of dirt there and you're just placing it on as near to centre as you can and then just press down at all your corners and things and that's your card done and I think that is just so pretty and if someone got that on Christmas Eve or whatever through their door they would be delighted because by that time you're sick of red and green and silvers and otherwise this is just so pretty anyway I hope you've enjoyed that um, it is very different and I hope that you're inspired to try if you've got any other vellums play with them you, if you've got stamps that are Christmas designs on them stamp on it with your embossing pad and add some glittery embossing powder it works fabulously and that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few days I'm going to pull out my vellum and see if I've got any nice sparkly you could even do it freehand with like, stickles or it's just beautiful so thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another tutorial for you bye and speak again soon